A warm welcome everyone, my name is Nick, we're on the ZX Spectrum 48K and we're going to look at Battle of the Planets published by Microgen in 1986. It's an arcade space shooter, also available on the Android CPC and the Commodore 64. It contains some rather cool vector graphics, so a bit like a 3D Starfighter you might think. Uh, it's based on the TV show which ran at the same uh, sort of era from 1978 to 1980. Five young people, Mark, Jason, Princess, Chaos and Tiny must defend the, uh, the galaxy against Zoltar, he's an evil guy. We'll listen to this music a bit later on without me jabbering over the top of it, but you must defend five planets and stop Zoltar's forces from landing on them and taking over. You are a member of G-Force. Good luck. So we'll see how this one plays to see if I can get any distance from it. Microgen 1986. Uh, the original cartoon was created by Sandy Frank, 1978, so we're going back quite a bit. It's all like the Star Wars era. So, here we go. There is our ship, I believe. We can do this on Kempston Joystick, so we will. By cycling through one to five, we can go through different um, stats of our ship, including how many shields we got left, rockets and all that sort of stuff. So here we go. Firing, firing, firing. We're travelling through space, folks. There's the planet we must defend. We can land on that to get upgrades on our ship, like more fuel and repairs. But we won't do that because I don't know how to, um, well, get out of it again. Shoot these things. I don't know what they're doing. Stay alive. Right, OK. Um, we've got our rockets there. We do use to have to use... Oh, there's a ship. We have to, do have to use a keyboard to fire rockets. Come on, come in my crosshairs. I want to blow you up. Right, come on. Lyle him up. No, he's gone to the left. Right. This is like flying a real ship, folks. I've missed. I launched some missiles there and missed the fella. Let's land on the planet, although I said I wasn't going to. Keep it in the crosshairs. Did you see the cartoon? It was quite mad. I believe it was from Japan, and they converted it for, um, uh, well, other audiences, and had to fill in the gaps. Seven Zark Seven was a robot. Right, we've landed on the planet. Right, look for power-ups or repairs to the ship. Right, I think that, that um, shape there is a docking station rather than something we need to blow up. But we'll try and blow it up just the same. Now, when you get to the end of a stage, I think a coin turns up, a 3D coin. You fly into that and it's the end of the stage and then you go on to blow up, well, save the next planet. The planet, oh, what's that? Some sort of tank's on the horizon. Blow it up or is it an iron? It's got a bit like Tron. Uh, as I was saying, the five planets you need to rescue, Earth isn't listed, it's Zenarf, Alias, or Elias, Horaf, or Lixal, let's pop our thing in here, and Pete. Yeah, the Pete system. Not the Pete Bog, the Pete system. Oh god, things are overlapping here, right. Oh, we docked with it very well briefly. Yay, we've blown up that tank. Right, how do I get out of here? I'm not sure. Um, there must be a key to press to get out here and back out of the planet, because Basically, you fight the enemy, Zoltar, when your ship's got low on power, you dock with the planet or land on the planet, get stuff by landing in here, uh, and then disappear again. Out of the planet. But I can't seem to work it out to get out. Is that going to give me fuel? Yep. Oh, no, that's the repair ship. Right, so we're repaired. Uh, if you've ever seen Battle of the Planets, um, you know, if you haven't seen it, try and track it down on YouTube. It's insane, but it has the greatest music ever. It was one of my favourites, I think, coming home from school. Never made into a movie as far as I'm aware. Good stuff. I think it was based on... I think the, the Japanese cartoon wasn't called Battle of the Planets. I think it was called um, uh, Science Ninja Team Gatchaman or Gatchaman Summit like that. But they had to change it a bit to make it make sense. Five incredible young people, Mark, Jason, Princess, Kaop, and Tiny. Aided by Seven Zark Seven. De -de -de -de. Yeah, um, make sense of that if you will. And they're all dressed up for some reason as birds. That's crazy. But that's young people for you. They go their own way and do crazy stuff. I'm going to have to get out of here because I can't seem to leave the planet. Nice as that jagged horizon is. Mine's a little bit of Horace and the Spiders, stage one, where you have to jump over the spiders. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Bub, bub, bub. Ah, uh, yeah, so there's our fuel and thrust and temperature gauges. 
you can cycle through by going through one to five, but uh, I think we'll have to do a sometime later in a minute and re reload this. There is a button, but I don't know what it is. Don't land on the planet. Okay, right, let's have another go at this thing. I'll try and get off stage one, that's my aim, because I want to see if stage two differs at all. But you can select what planet you want to defend. I don't know which one this is. I suppose it's number one, Zenaf. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Now, as space shooters go, this one isn't too bad. Uh, I do like the movement of it. I prefer 3D Starfighter and, to a degree, Star Wars. But this, this is okay as well. I haven't played Elite yet. That's supposed to be the granddaddy of all of them. But it's not bad, this one. Uh, Battle of the Planets is a license they just chucked on the top. It could have been anything. Could have been, could have been Star Wars. Could have been whatever was available. But they've gone with Battle of the Planets. You don't see any of the other characters from there, apart from in text at the start of the game. So they've just pinched it to try and sell games or to lift it higher than it would have been anyway. They probably called it Super Space Cadet. What are these things? They're not blowing up. Maybe there's something I'm missing there. Let me know. Did you have this on the CPC, Amstrad, or Commodore 64? Did it play the same? I expect they have slightly more colour, those ones, but uh, yes. Can't seem to the star fields anymore. So, as soon as we've blown up a few enemy ships, I believe we might go to the next stage. You can make the ship go quicker by pre pressing different keys. We don't want these aliens landing on the planet and taking over our people. That's Doomsville. Zoltar can do one. Right, okay, right, line this thing up. Stay still. Explosion. Wait for explosion. It's getting close. Come on. Oh, it's disappeared. Oh, man, I'm wasting my rockets here. Where's it gone? All the time it's shooting at me and my shields are going down. Where are you? Chewie, look in your auxiliary power. Chewie, look on your, lock on your auxiliary power. Come on. Come on, shoot it! Come on. Whoa. Four fighters, two fighters. Where are they? Come on, come round here. Step into my crosshairs, you aliens. Zoltar. I don't know. Did we see what Zoltar looked like? I can only remember it vaguely as a kid. I mainly remember the, um, I mainly remember the theme music and the start of it. Come on, must be able to do it. Yes, yes, yay, kaboom, that's one done. I think we have to blow up either two or three, and then it's the end of the stage. Just keep going, stars going past. There's the planet there. Avoid that, it's like a big ping pong ball. A bit like the Death Star, it was almost as if they thought it was gonna be Star Wars first of all, then changed their mind, because they thought they'd get sued or something. Check out Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back. Oh, that's that's the coin I think I was talking about. But we go in there. Don't blow it up. When we go in there, it might be the end of the stage. Stay still. 3D vector graphics is pretty good for the Spectrum, isn't it, really? Yay, we've done it. So now we can select what planet we want to go to next. I think we're going to go to Planet Pete. Go Pete. For Pete's sake, go to Pete. Boom. Right, how does this differ? We're going to hyperspace. Boo! Oh, it's the same, but it's it's magenta. Or pink, if you if you want. It's magenta, it's like a, a sort of purple. Okay, so it's the same, but a different colour. And that probably means the other planets utilise other colours. So you expect yellow, green, maybe red. Not black though, that's hard to see on a black background. Same thing again, just shoot the enemy. Zoltar gets better and better, he gets stronger and stronger. Left shields aren't looking good, right shield isn't looking good. Forward shield isn't looking too bad. Maneuver all. Oh, would have been nice to get with oh, our ship's been destroyed. I think we had a head on collision there. Oh dear. That's it for us. Shall we I think we should have another quick go. Now there's a code there, so if you want to type that in, you can go straight back to where you died, so you haven't got to start from the beginning again, which is nice to see. Battle of the Planets. It's message from Central Neptune. That's where these five incredible young people were based. Right, off we go again for another mission. I, I'm not an incredible young person. If you add up the ages of the five incredible young people, that's probably my age, which means I'm as good as all of them put together, doesn't it? 
and maybe Seven Zark Seven, which I, he did look a bit like R two D two. I think they was influenced by that. But uh, what wasn't influenced by R two D two? He's a role model for everyone. Um, right, okay. Blow stuff. Right, we don't want to go to the planet. We get stuck there. Let's go over that. Let's just complete this level as quickly as possible and select a different level to see what colour it goes. That's the main excitement as a key with a lot of these games. What colour is the next stage? We know it's going to be roughly the same, but it's going to go a different colour. I'm going to guess yellow. What are you going to go for? Your options are probably dark blue, green, uh, white. That could happen. Um, yellow. Have I said yellow? Yeah. And um, uh, that's it, I think, because we had cyan already and purple. Or it could go red, I suppose. Ding, chicka ding, ding, chicka ding, 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 ding. Yes, yeah, so you've seen all the gameplay really. If you like space games and you was a kid back in the day who wasn't, uh, in 1986, you probably would have got quite a bit of play out of this one. Not as good as 3D Starfighter, I'll say that again, because uh, that, that was cool, that game. But, but this holds together quite well. I like the vector graphics. It's not, it's not flickery at all. It animates really well. They've done a good job. Well done, Microgen. But they were quite, quite reliable outfit anyway. Come on. It's, it's, it's a bit of a bit of an effort to get a ZX Spectrum to do this sort of stuff. So I'm in admiration. It's not like the um, the uh, the vector graphics are just going in set directions. They're floating everywhere. Right. Was that? I thought that was the coin down there. Was it? It's gone out of my sights. All right. Another ship to blow up. Well, it looks like we've got two on screen at the same time. That could be rather awkward. Yeah, there's two on the. Right, that's that one blown up. We're getting better at this. Destroy them before they destroy you. That's always good advice when you're in space in the wild territories. If you have been to any of these planets, Pete, or Lixil, Horaf, Elias, or Zenaf, let me know what the weather's like. Are you going there on your holidays? And if I'm going to go, what sort of clothes do I need to take? Uh, let me know below. I mean, if there's methane lakes, I, I, I suppose we uh, asbestos trousers? Possibly. Right. Lots of things happening at the same time here. They've got the planet and the coin and the ship. Right. I want to go to the right thing. Don't need to go to that planet. Get in the coin. Uh, there we go. Good. So we'll uh, we'll uh, do. Do no, I think I hit number three there. Hyperspace bomber. Oh, it's gone green. So people that said green, well done, you win. I said yellow and lost. Uh yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Speed status, power, unit, planet, data. Yes. Let's see how long I can survive here. Shields aren't looking great. Forward shields looking brilliant, which probably means I need to um, circle around, maybe do a bit of speed and instead of just being such a sitting duck the whole time. Well, the battle of the planets, I think we've saved one planet. Uh, I need a bit more help. Instead of five incredible young people, maybe they should have had 50 uh, and it would have been a bit easier. Maybe they, they couldn't go out. And my ship's destroyed, we're all dead. Oh dear, isn't that the way that a lot of games end? Ship destroyed. Mm. Well, there's a code again. Wi Wikifs. Sounds like a website. Well, hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Battle of the Planets, published by Microgen in 1986 on the ZX Spectrum 48K. Thanks for watching as always. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.